Howdy folks, Athios here, and welcome back to Greedfall. I've got to say that this has got to be the game where it is the most times I have went into a tavern and not had a drink in a long time. Oh. Well, if these drunkards have one of their rallies, they'll end up in a fight. That's it. You can shout all you want, but I'm right. All right, let's keep going. I play that hand honestly. You're so drunk. You see double. That's all. <laughs> are you kidding me? I saw that second king. Not only are you cheating, but you cheat badly. All right. You call me a cheater again. All right. Come on, gentlemen. Please calm down. Who are you to give us orders? Uh. It's true. You want to see how tough? Oh, you don't know who you're messing with. My child, I doubt that your job as legate involves managing fights between drunkards. <laughs> well, it does here. Let's. You guys need to leave. You better get out of here unless you want to end up in jail. Oh, he thinks we'll allow that to happen. Do you... Oh God, sir! Oh God! Come on! Protect me in this battle. Get a poison on my blade, and let's go. Well, there's that. Nice little, like, a saloon shootout, basically, with the. Uh, Sardes magic hands. Guess that's everything. All right. So what's what's the dealio here? Tune arena. Investigate at the tavern. Like, do we need to talk to anyone? Speak to a soldier on leave. Speak to passerby. Innkeep. Let's talk to innkeep. What can I pull for you? We want to. Let's buy a bottle. Give me a bottle of your best drink. There you go. I'm tired of going to tavern and not. She's got a strong bite. Not drinking anything. Bottle of brandy. All right. Can we go into inventory and drink? Jewels, junk. Oh, it's junk. You can't even use it. Why? Ah. What can Game. I Alright, uh... Yeah, let's talk about Alba. I'm looking for a young nought. She goes by the name of Alba and sails on Captain Reuben's ship. I wouldn't know who that is. Why don't you go and ask that fellow over there? He often shares a bottle with the sailors. He might remember your nought. Anything else? Alright. Are you, point, are you pointing out the soldier? Just yet. You're pointing out that guy? Probably. I'm gonna say this guy. Hey, look at that! <laughs> the upper crust coming to slum it at the tavern. How may I help you? Uh, this has to be seen her. We're looking for a young nought. She's part of Captain Reuben's crew. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. A girl who loses her pay with style. <laughs> but I don't know where she is. She looked sad last time I saw her. Didn't have her head in the game. Um, I don't like that line of questioning. So I think that we'll just leave awesome. it at that. Thank you. I like just going on. Has she been spilling secrets? All right, worker. No. I don't think you're technically part of this. They, they, they want us to freaking press that, Gretchen. Hello, my darlings. It's rare to see the upper crust in here. Upper crust. It must be my lucky day. Do you and yours want to have a good time? I could call a few friends. I'm sorry, but I'm not here for that. Really? What would you like? <laughs> really? Oh, uh, I guess that's it. I'll let you get on. <sighs> what a shame. Come back soon. Interesting way to phrase that. 
Let you get on. We really have, really have to broach the subject of freaking. Has she been spilling secrets? To a, um, it's so ah, fine, fine game. Here you are again. Yes, questions. Damn it, no. Ah. Oh, here you are. Yes, please. All right. Have you ever heard her talk about secrets or documents she would like to exchange? Are you asking me if she's a spy? <laughs> no idea. She told me nothing. Yeah. So. Well, if that's why you're looking for her, I may have seen things that might interest you. I'm often mistaken for a drunkard, so they pay no attention to me. But I see everything. Your eyes tell a different story. What you find? What did you see? This should quench your thirst. So, what did you see? Well, returning late. Did we hand over our brandy? To the guy I'd seen before at the tavern. He often spent time with a nought, and he was in the street fiddling with a stone, looking suspicious. So, I took a closer look when he left. I thought he'd stashed money or something, but no. There was a box under the stone, but there was no gold inside, just papers. They were messages. And from the look of the guy, they couldn't be love letters. <laughs> now, I don't know how to read, so I couldn't understand what it was about, but maybe those were your secrets? Where is this hiding place? Cross the bridge at the exit of the town. On the left, look for the stone. The box is underneath. Thank you, soldier. My pleasure, friend. Do you oh. want to know <laughs> anything else? No. No. That will be all, soldier. Thank you. Goodbye. Good lord. <laughs> Let's go. Oh no. Oh no. Game. Oh. Cutscene weirdness. Anywho. Oh, and now we're stuck. Are you kidding me? What is happening? There we go. Get me out of this tavern. Good grief. Right, drop points down there. Now, I want to finish this up, because I don't want to go in here and talk to... Because the game has a tendency to sometimes, when we go and do something, that it's... That, you know, wants us to... <clears throat> where, you know, once we finish with something, and we have to, like, go somewhere else... For like the next part of the quest, it will just like automatically transport us there. So I want to get everything done that needs to be done in New Serene before going and doing that, just in case it's like, yeah, we had you go all the way there for nothing and then come back. So we're gonna throw you a bone and automatically teleport you there once this conversation's over. So in l being leery of that, we're gonna try and wrap up the arena and this thing and whatever else. Needs to be wrapped up in New Serene. Alright, we need to go down. Down, then over. Alright, and drop zone is on the other side of the bridge. So let's go. We make good timing for it. Oh boy. Hear those drums. Potential fight. Alright, we're gonna find it. Over here somewhere, I said it was like a rock. Or a tree sump. Oh no. Don Quixote. Don Quixote. Oh boy. Things are getting weird. I don't know why they're getting weird, but they're getting weird. Uh, right here, yellow mark. That seems... Boy, eh, eh, eh. There we go. This stone must be the one the soldier told us about. Look, it hides a box. It's a dead drop. It's suspicious, but it doesn't reveal any secrets or 
Who uses it? Well then, we'll have to catch whoever uses it red-handed. Oh, I'm a little old for hiding in the bushes, but if that's what you want to do... Hey, you have to be... Catch the person who's been using the dead drop. So, we can hide, right? You can, like, crouch. Or maybe it be higher? Can we get higher? Yes, we can. Alright, sneak, just in case, because I don't want to infuriate the wolf bears. Alright, here Perfect. we go. We have a great view of the box from here. Shall we wait here? Yes, we shall. Excuse me. That's it. Suspect in sight. Alright. Here we go. Oh, what are we doing? Are we waiting? Can we move? He's only a messenger. We should follow him. Okay, well, let me follow him then. I don't know. I've been terrible at these with this game so far. I'm going to try and be better at it. Try and... I was bad at this in Cyberpunk too. We like completely failed. The Cyberpunk one. I don't know who gave the order. Hello. That would be this guy. Bridge Alliance. Well, gentlemen. What are you plotting? Fool! They followed us. I... But I was careful. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation and you have been caught plotting treason. So I suggest you talk. What do these messages contain and what are they about? You're wasting your time. I, I, I won't say a word. Uh, attempt to intimidate. We have a coin flip. Uh, let's coin flip it. Do you realize that you were suspected of espionage and conspiracy? Don't you think you better explain yourself? Wait, I, I don't want to end up in jail. It, it's not about the secrets of the congregation. Uh, let me explain. Some time ago, it was rumored that the secrets of the Norts were for sale. My country was interested. So I started exchanging messages as you've been doing. The Nort who was willing to give up these secrets demanded a fortune. He also he. wanted to become a citizen, but we were only at the negotiation stage. For the moment, uh, I have received nothing concrete, just promises. Who is the naught you're talking to? Oh, I've no idea. The messages were signed White Rose, but I doubt it's a real name. He's Very just well. using he as. To be telling the truth. Alba means white, Desarde, but it's a little unsubstantial. And give me the message in your possession before leaving. Very well. Here it is. Now, if you'll allow me, uh, I, I what do, will leave no. the town. Why? Uh, so that's it? This a report? Who gave the order? Um, I really don't have a lot. He said he, but it doesn't know who the knot is. So it could have been just him being like using like masculine dominant verbiage, you know, pronounage <laughs> to uh, when not knowing, you know, what person gave him the information. Ah, Your Excellency. So, what did you discover? There is indeed a spy among the Norts. But the spy's identity remains to be proven. Take this. I have recovered this note, which seems to suggest that your secrets have been offered to several buyers. The Alliance citizen we met did not win the bid. I knew it. My logbook has just been stolen, and of course Alba is missing. Do we really still need proof? This book must be found at all costs before Alba sells it. Your Excellency, can we count on you once more? I would like to help you. 
but this island is vast. How could I possibly hope to find it? Alba is from Teleme. She probably took refuge in San Mateus. This reduces the search area a little. What do you say, Your Excellency? This is a trail that deserves to be followed. I will keep you updated, Admiral. As long as we're not teleported. Oh, we're nice with the knots. Okay. So, plan. What's next? Um, what was Mr. Cossillon's thing? Is that also part? No, it's not part. Of, what, what mission is that part of? Where? Okay, logging expedition. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's a completely different thing that we need to talk to them about. So let's go ahead and talk to him real quick at the palace. Doesn't make much sense, but I wanted to do that and see before doing the arena. I want to try and keep that to, again, the start of an episode, not the end of one. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to fail miserably. Fantastically. Hysterically. Uh, Mr. Cossillon is... Oh, we gotta go. Do we have to go through him? Shit. Don't force me into a conversation. Run around, run around. Good, good, good. I'm going to avoid you, cousin, for now. And, uh... Alright. It's straight ahead, yeah? Alright. This room. Alright. Alright, Mr. De Corsillon. Sir De Corsillon. Corsillon. Sade, my young student. What can I do for you? Uh, what to talk about? Camps. The mission you entrusted me with has made great progress. Oh. That's a well, different thing. Let's see. Good. You have traveled great distances. And the Terra Incognita. Yeah, Terra Incognita. A distant memory. Keep doing what you're doing, Dasade. Can your old professor still prove himself useful? Uh, Professor Serafedin? I found no traces of Professor Serafedin yet. That's most regrettable. But keep looking for him, will you? You never know. Can your old professor still prove himself useful? All right. Uh, yeah, I guess the glade is the wooded area. I have come to find you because I received a complaint from the natives of the village of Vigigador. They want to be able to access a clearing, exploited by our woodcutters, to heal it. To reforest it, I assume. But our men there say that it belongs to them, and are refusing to let the natives enter it. The site was supposedly ceded to them several months ago. But tensions are running high and some men have lost their lives. Yep. If we don't intervene, we're heading for a real confrontation. We already had a real confrontation. And I approve of your desire to appease this conflict. According to what you have told me, if ever there was a contract, it must have been signed oh, under no. a former governor. You should go to the archives and verify this. Then go oh, don't make me talk to that man down there. And of course, I'll be delighted to help you once things. And now I gotta come back to you. Thank you, Professor. Once more, you've been of great help. Can your old professor still prove? Yeah, Looking you can. forward to seeing you again. Sir be Cossilio. done talking for now. Well, that uh makes it to where we'll have some uh, definitely some time to do stuff while finishing up this episode. Alright, don't you dare, game. Run away. You don't see me, cousin. The Malachor has affected you so badly that you've affected your sight and hearing. You don't hear or see me at all. Um, uh, we need do we need to talk? We do. Before we leave here. We need to go in here, yeah. Isn't this the archive area? Please don't tell me we have to talk to this man. I was very not looking forward to saving him. 
Synth lower floor. Let's make sure that we don't have to talk to him by talking to him. Minister, Your Excellency, it is always an honor. You, that's, How may I serve you? That's sarcasm. No. Thank. Your Excellency. Shut up. <laughs> Good lord. Freaking bureaucracy incarnate is that guy. <sighs> okay. So down we go to the archives. Which I guess is a place we've been before, but had no reason to be there. We were just screwing around. Yeah. Here we go. Property deed of the logging expedition. Following negotiations between Chief Doncas and Governor de Morange over lands in the region of that name, it is hereby decided that the negotiated lands would henceforth be the sole and exclusive property of the merchant congregation for the purpose of carrying out a logging activity. I don't know what <laughs> range of accents happen there. Access to this area is now restricted to members of the congregation. They went from being, like, you know, proper and posh to being somewhat Scottish, Irish, whatever. <sighs> Who knows? I don't know what I'm doing when I'm reading this stuff off. Try to make it interesting to me, so that it's interesting to y'all. <laughs> and for some reason I like doing voices to read when I can. Alright, now it's a bit tough, because the, the weather over here has put me a bit under the weather. Is, uh, happy to see you again in such fine health. How can I be of service? How about... You talk about stuff that you did when you were governor here. I need you to enlighten me about the property deed of a glade near Vigigador. The natives want to access this place, which according to them is sacred and which they would like to heal. But some of our men there are using this deed to deny them access to the area. Tensions are running high and some people have died. Yes, there was a time when we enacted a lot of contracts. Do you have the document with you? Yes. Here it is. Hmm. This session agreement is only signed with a cross on the native side. Well, writing is foreign to them. As is the notion of land ownership. For them, the earth only belongs to itself. If they did not possess these lands, how did they cede them? Uh-huh. I doubt they knew what this agreement represented, exactly. to be honest. In that case, why make them sign it? When we arrived on the island, we had to ensure our access to certain commodities. We also had to make sure that we had legal ownership of the lands we were occupying. The natives dreamed of possessing some baubles that they didn't know how to craft. It was easy to make them sign agreements that they didn't understand by giving them some. I was a stranger to their philosophy then. I only thought about my city, and I regret it. I'm sure we can fix this mistake. I hope so, Your Excellency. Come, let's find Sir de Corsilion. Can I help you with any... Are you going to take us there? Please take us there. My lady, I have to go. Goodbye. Sir de Corsino, Yay! It's a Good pleasure. job, game. Madame, I expect you've come to see me about this regrettable problem concerning a clearing, which my student told me about. Indeed, and I think I may have a solution that will allow us to solve this conflict peacefully. Hmm, I'm listening. I must admit that I established this at a time when the culture and the mentality of the natives was foreign to me. The clan of this village was rather open to our presence. They welcomed us with benevolence. For this reason, I think we should allow them access to these lands. In doing so, we would appease the tensions, mm -hmm. and we would also retain ownership of the wood. We would even benefit from such an agreement if the natives reforest this area. Then we could exploit it for a longer period of time. When you put it that I way, you make me not want to... And I approve, but several men were killed. And their comrades will seek vengeance if the person or persons responsible do not pay for their crimes. I am convinced that Dunkus, the chief of this clan, never approves such an action. I understand. 
but I will only write a decree allowing people to go to this clearing, provided the murderer is delivered to us. Thank you, Master. I will inform Dunkers of your decision. Okay. <clears throat> then we're gonna go speak to Dunkus. Alright, down we go. Oh. I lost where I was going for a second with the camera there. Alright. Again, you don't hear us to see us, cousin. We're doing everything we can to uh, find the cure for the Malachor. We really are. We're not getting distracted at all. The uh, seams of... <laughs> Of freaking, my immersion is breaking. The walls of immersion are breaking down. Ah. All right, so we gotta go to San Mateus. We gotta go to Hikmet. We gotta go back to that village, and so on, and so on, and so on. So instead of doing all that, let's go see. I think the fifth technically the challenges are like three rounds that you have to do consecutively. So, hmm. I wonder. Can we do it? I don't think we can. <laughs> Son of a... Yeah. It's around this corner. Yep. Hello, fellas. Freaking crappy bandits that are just so weak and pathetic now. Well, they kind of always been weak and pathetic. Alright. Let's head down. Let's see if we can get through at least a round. And then we'll get right into the next episode. Hello. Did you say new management? What the heck? No, new serene. Alright. I was like, what the heck? Their level is much higher than yours. And that was kind of the problem last time. Alright. Alright. Yeah. Alright. We're going to do the fifth challenge. As soon as you read it, incredible. Yep. Who would ever have believed that our right, I don't see skulls this time. So oh, now I do. Can I... Three... Oh, my God. Alright, run, run, run. And Q. And Q. Your magic is running out. Stasis. Oh, we got one. Stasis. Got it. Hello. Okay, so we got past that. Who the heck are you guys? Coin guard? Hi, folks. You guys are big old dummies. Oh, but they hurt. Oh, they hurt. Alright, six. Alright, down. Down, boys. Boom. Ooh, is that a guardian? That's a guardian with a freaking sword. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do it. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Hello. And he is not impressed. Can I slow him down a bit? Alright, two. I'm trying to get, like, armor down at least. Six. Let's see if you can ward off 
Five. Alright. Drink up. Alright, queue him up. Alright, go ahead and armor everybody up again. Do like a heal. Yeah. Ooh, that was nice. I think I actually performed a, ja a, d a dodge. Accidentally. Six. Two. Alright. Hit it eight. Uh, we're gonna do it, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen. How about that? Oh, ho, ho, ho. You didn't like that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Come on, guys. Freaking hit him. Hit the guardian. Oh, vortex. Ow. All right. Do that. Do that. Gonna do five. And five does like a lot of damage to it. Take it, take it out. Got it. Got it. Fantastic. You are now a champion of the arena. Mountain Guardian. Say, this is the first time I've ever seen such a young team leader win the title. Allow me to give you this. The prize awarded to champions. Thank you. And 200 gold and a broadsword and XP. All right, now we want to fight. I wish to fight alongside the island hunter that was captured. Really? You'd have to go in alone. Your friends will need to stay in the stands. Are All you right. sure that this prisoner is worth risking? Absolutely. He's worth risking it. Like the first episode that we had the opportunity to, but we just couldn't this freaking man has do been it. The victim of terrible injustice. I cannot stand aside without doing anything. Oh, that's extremely noble of you. But it's just the sort of crazy idea that the crowd loves. <laughs> I have to warn you, though. If you want to fight now, you will lose your bonus in the running challenges. Well, we've already so, done them. What will it be? It's so weird that it says that, and that it, that's a thing. All right, let's do it. Justice cannot wait. I'm ready. Except it has. Excellent. For like 30 that episodes. Case. The arena awaits you. Here we go. Three. Alright, this is a Beastmaster guy. Look at that. Take it out. Yeah, we could have like done this a long time ago. There we go. Alright, can we take stuff? Nope. What a show! You've won the affections of the crowd. Right. And when the crowd makes a decision, it gets what it wants. You're free, prisoner. He's never a prisoner. I owe you my life on all Manawi. Blessed be the winds that have blown. I'm so sorry that you had to wait this freaking long. My name should I address you? My name is Desarde. In fact, it's your cousin, the merchant, that sent me. Follow me. Let's go and find him. All right. Let's do this real quick. If you'll let me, Don Quixote. Ah, oh. Manawi. Oh, I'm glad to see you again. Oi, Ven. Oh, I'm so glad to see you again. Oi, Ven. Then you must thank this Honor Manawi. They're Jewish he natives. To save me. Thank you. May the grass always be soft beneath your feet. Don't mention it. I also brought back your goods. May the trees always bear you fruit. We owe you a lot. You should go see Ulan, the chief of Vignamri, my village. He wants to be friends with the Renaigse. Since you are a legate, you could talk to him. Yeah. Cool. All right, so we got some shit done. Yeah. Finally got the, uh, all that freaking arena stuff out of the way. Alright, so, but this quest is still a thing. Where is he? Play on map. 
Uh, in that place. Uh, which I don't think we've been too far in. Dunkus is up there. We got the captain up there. And we got the possibly Jessica Alba up here. So, uh, yeah. A little, s oh, gosh, what in the heck do we do next time? Uh, next time we gotta, we gotta go and talk to our cousin. And, uh, progress that. See if it does that or if it lets us do things on our own. And then we'll decide from there where we go, but that's gonna be the very next thing that we do. So, we'll do that next time. So, till next time, this has been Zathaios, signing up for now. Bye, folks.